10 million rand humanitarian aid package will leave South Africa tomorrow for Iraq. The aid is destined for thousands of Iraqi people who are in dire need of water supplies. And while the help may be a blessing for many Iraqis, in South Africa, some Iraqis are still uncertain about whether their families survived the war. She's worried about her family. Saar Hussein came here from Iraq to pursue a career as a doctor, but she hasn't heard from her family since the war started in March. Hussein's four family members live a few kilometers from the Saddam International Airport in Yarmouk district. During the intense battle for Saddam International Airport, surrounding areas were also affected. I'm worried about him, worried about his family, and I don't know how is he's managing uh, with his fam uh, ordinary daily life. Hussein's now asked this man to find the family, but he has his hands full. Many want him to find their loved ones or help them with aid. Milk powder and water purification tablets are an integral part of the aid package. All the sewage is in the water, there's no proper supply, there's no proper electricity. People are dying from diseases, waterborne diseases. The Gift of the Givers Foundation in November last year tried to provide goods such as medical supplies, but they were restricted due to the embargo on Iraq. Non-governmental organizations like Gift of the Givers are now taking advantage of the new UN resolution passed last month. The resolution lifts over a decade of sanctions against Iraq. Resolution 1483 drops the restrictions on trade and allows goods to move more easily in and out of Iraq. But will these multi-million rand aid packages be enough to help in the rebuilding of the war-torn country? Analysts say billions of dollars will be needed to restore the country to normality. Renee Horn, SABC, Durban. Renee Horn is returning to Iraq this week to see how the reconstruction is going.